Hello everyone, this is Miguel here, reporting another solution to uh, another problem that has faced, I faced as well. This time regarding a Pro Tools graphical bug. Now this bug, I'll show you right now, I'll open up Pro Tools to show you what I mean. Alright, this is without the, the solution or fix. Okay, well, as it loads up. Uh, this bug pertains to the, the, um, the interface uh, Windows, so they overlap whenever you use a an instrument plugin or a uh, yeah an instrument plugin or different any instrument plugin. Uh, but I'll show you what I mean shortly as soon as uh, this starts to load up. Yep. Here you can choose to uh, rename the file. I chose a uh, just a random name to um, to just you know save the the hassle of coming up with the name and make sure you save it local so you can um, you know you can find it easily on your desktop. And we see here the, uh, that the top screens are mangled and they're overlapping. I'll just hover over them real quick. Uh, you see and okay we'll about, I'm about to show you the solution real soon for the sake of showing it all at once I'm going to show you um, while uh, the different uh, types of problems that may occur when you try to switch the camp compatibility modes. There are three of them. There's the system uh, compatibility mode, there's system enhanced compat compatibility mode, and the application one. Uh, right now we're using, uh, we're not using either one of them because we have them disabled. I will now make sure I close the session and save it as well. That way you can see all three modes um, being used. So, so the, the one I just showed you was the mode with the problem. Now if we go to the window menu and type in Pro Tools, it should pop up. Make sure uh, you right click it and you go to open the file location. From the file location you can right click again, scroll down to the properties and then click on the compatibility tab. And then there you'll see a list of different modes. Click on the override one and select uh, system enhanced one and hit OK. Uh, minimize it and uh, go and run your Pro Tools once again. Or you can just open up the file and your file will open up shortly and you'll see now that the the windows will not be mangled together. However, there, this creates a different problem. But it may uh, solve your problem if you have a different system configuration than what I do. Also, I wanted to state, before we go any further, that please do not be alarmed that there isn't any sound coming through the virtual instrument. That it does not have any sound because Pro Tools takes priority over audio priority over what I'm using to record. But uh, in the actual recording, I could hear it. Now, uh, I'll show you uh, the, the second problem that this, occur this um, creates, the system enhanced version. If you go to the Dynamics folder and to the Dyn3, you'll see that the window gets, um, well, you're, you're seeing what, what you see on screen, and yeah, that's not good. And <laughs> you don't want that, it makes it unusable. Now, this third one right here was my solution. This one might have been some other one, other people's solution, but it didn't work for me because they created that uh, bug. Now, here you can just simply either, you can either type in Pro Tools again through the Start menu. And hit um, go to go to it, or just simply right-click on it on the shortcut and go to properties again, 
and uh, you should see the compat compatibility tab again and then once more uh, click on system hit apply and hit OK and then uh, open up Pro Tools again the same session and you shall see that the the problem has been re resolved and there isn't any more uh, mangled windows or buggy plugins. Just to wrap it all up, you see there isn't anything wrong with the Dyn3 window. Uh, the window isn't a create multiple windows, and the plugins are working. Doesn't change the resolution. The scaling, the scaling has been fixed, and the windows are not mangled. Thank you for watching.